anyway, so today I wanted to go over a new product I've been using, which is this blower um, for alcohol inks. And I've been making these alcohol ink tiles. I thought I would share because I was watching the Creativation videos a couple weeks back and Tim Holtz was showing how he did alcohol inks and he was using this blower that Ranger is coming out with. And I don't even know if it's out yet. I know it's coming out in February. Um, and I think the one he was using was a little bit bigger than this one. But I said, that's not a new invention. People have been using, you know, these are not new. So I went on Amazon and I looked it up and sure enough, these came up. And this one actually, um, you can buy them singly, but a lot of times these come with a camera cleaning kit. So the one I got was this Altura and it was like $8. And for $8, if you have a camera, uh, you get this whole kind of kit, which I thought was a really good idea. So I'm just going to show the kit in case you're interested. I'll put the link below if you do have a camera. Uh, for a dollar cheaper, I could have just got the blower by itself. But this came with some microfiber um, pads. It came with three of them. Um, it came with a brush, a lens cleaner. Um, this is also like a lens cleaner right here. Um, I mean all this for eight dollars and all I really wanted was the blower but I do film on a DSL camera when I'm filming these videos and then you have this little kind of thing for cleaning so I figured okay well for the extra dollar I might as well get the whole camera cleaning kit and clean my camera I don't even clean my lenses but probably should anyways so yeah this was like I'll put the link down below uh, if you want to get this or just, you know, if you want to look around and get just the blower itself, you can get them. They range anywhere from, like I said, like $7 all the way up until, you know, like $15. I think the Ranger one is, I'm going to say it's like $14 or $15. I see, like, people doing pre-orders for these. So let me just show you how it works. And it works good because before I had used straws, and if you know, like, the alcohol... The inks aren't so bad when, when you're spreading it with like the isopropyl alcohol. I mean, the fumes get kind of toxic, and you know, especially if you're blowing and blowing. So, um, this works really good. And then, you know, like the heat gun works too. I use this and the heat okay, gun. So, this tile I did, and I sealed this with glossy accents um, just because I wanted something quick. And I didn't want to spend a lot of time, so I just put some glossy accents, which worked great. And then, these tiles are not sealed at all but these three I did with resin and this was the easy cast I will say with the resin obviously it takes a long time and you know you have to let it go for cure for a while because even though like the next day it I thought it was cured I kind of put like wax I waited over 24 hours and then I kind of was going to stack them and I put wax paper over them and they started melting so the resin takes a while. I have a different kind of resin that I'm going to use next time. I'll see how that works. And I haven't done these yet. I got these tiles at Lowe's. And they're like 15 cents a piece. This one has a little spot on it. Um, and they're supposed to be 4 These are all supposed to be 4x4 tiles. However, you can see there's a difference. These are a little less than 4x4 when you measure them. And these I got at Home Depot at 16 cents. These measure 4 and a quarter. And these are like three and three fourths. Okay, so these are a half an inch bigger. And then I also got these at Lowe's. I thought that these would be good to either do for coasters. I know a lot of people use them for coasters. You want to put like a candle on it instead of putting a candle on like your, you know, like a votive or something. You could put it on here. I just. Or, I mean, you can always hang them up. They're, they're just interesting. And then that's why I got some of these longer ones. Because maybe just for decoration, like a name or something on here. Okay. Um, so you can use either the blending solution, which I use, which is a little bit pricey. Or use the isopropyl alcohol inks that I'm using, that I use. Um, Michael's is now selling, and I, maybe Joanne's too, is selling the Bria Reese alcohol inks. And there's different ones. Um... Okay, and I believe they're the same, like three, ten dollars. And then, of course, I have the Ranger ones, which I have the Ranger ones in here. 
So those are the ones I use. Um, you can even use like Copic markers too. I've seen people using Copic markers, alcohol markers. Some people use the, the alcohol marker refills. A lot of different things. This tile I did using the, um, the pearls. And I'll show you like on this. One. So what I do too is when they dry, uh, I'll stamp them like this one. You can see that I actually did a stamping on and then I that before I did it. Okay, so usually I squirt a little alcohol on here on the tile and then I just put the inks down. And then you can just kind of use the blower. If you can see that it works pretty good. I mean, I'm kind of a favorite toward the blues. Mix the colors. It's easy. I mean, much easier. I mean, this is great. It works way easier than the straw. I can tell you that. And, you know, of course, this I'm using tiles, but you can do this on Yupo. This is on Yupo paper that I did using the blower. Um, this one I was trying to get kind of almost like a flower effect. I don't know if they've come out with the new um, alchemy metal. So right now I'm just going to put some mixative in there. Okay, so that one's done. Um, I definitely have my color schemes that I like. Let's, I'm going to try to go out of my comfort zone and do some colors that I normally wouldn't do. Um, I tend to use the blues and the purples like for everything. But some pinks. Oh, that's really pink. I've made complete tiles and then completely like didn't like it. So, I mean, you can just, oh, that's really bright pink. Um, you don't like that. You just have to squirt some al alcohol on here and you can completely clean this off. If you've ever used a straw, this is definitely a game changer from using the straw. So what you can do is you can, um, sometimes I put some foil on here, um, if there's any like little wet spaces. And then before I stamp it, I would make sure that it's dry. Cause I don't want like the ink on my stamps. And then I usually will use, because I'm going to cover this with like a resin, I'm going to use, um, just like a permanent like archival or stays on and I kind of generally will just stamp so I'll put a stamp on if you can see that let me zoom it in um, and then I like doing like um, so then I'll pick another stamp there you go kind of stamp and then I will, um, you could probably put a varnish on it and then, um, I'll probably put a, some sort of a, a sealer varnish on it and then, you know, I'll get a batch of resin going. I actually had some resin that kind of went bad. It had discolored, but because this is colored, it, it doesn't show up. So I'm going to use the resin up that I had. I have some new resin I'm going to try using because the resin does have to cure for a while. So another thing I wanted to share really quickly is be careful if you're using the alcohol inks on what surface you're doing. I just have some wax paper here, but I'm using the Tim Holtz glass media mat under here. Um, I had used 
the craft mat, the Ranger, you know, mat that we had. And I will say that it did stain it and I can't get it like clean now. So if you care how your mat looks, um, the alcohol inks will stain. So that was just another little tip that I had. Also, you could use like stickers on here. You, you could use rub-ons. Um, if you did watch like Creativation, you'll see that Tim Holtz did his like media project playing with the alcohol inks. And I think he did, um, he did the resist. He used stencils. He used a lot of stuff. So, I mean, these are really neat little things to play with. Um, you could also use like canvases. I like the tiles because it's a slick surface and the alcohol ink moves really nice on them. And they're pretty inexpensive at 16 cents a tile. Um, and you know, you can make them for coasters. You can just put some little felt feet on the bottom or like I said, you can use them as trays to put like a candle on or something. That is, um, how I use this. And if you're interested, I'll put a link down below because you can get the Tim Holtz one when it comes out. I'm sure it's coming out soon or it might already be out. Or I mean, for $7, like I said, I got the whole camera kit for this and, or you can put them get them separately. So I'll put a link down below. You can check them out and I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Have a great day. Thanks so much.